Hey everybody, welcome back to my chatty sassy channel here on YouTube where we talk about all things luxury, be it luxury fashion, luxury travel, or life's luxuries in general. And today I'm doing my final roundup from the Nordstrom sale. This video is going to be all about my online orders. Everything has finally come in that I have ordered and I tried on for you guys. I'm going to have footage of everything right here. Um, I'm going to show you guys what all I got from my in-store shopping day and talk to you about is there any hope on getting things that have sold out that you haven't seen come back in stock yet. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video for that. And with that, obviously the first thing that I purchased, if you watched that Nordstrom shopping vlog, which will be linked down below if you haven't seen that already, is this pair of pajamas. I had planned to actually get the cheetah print of the pajamas, but honestly, when I went in store and I saw this print, I just fell absolutely in love with it. I probably get something in the Nordstrom Moonlit pajama range every single year. This year I added another pair of long sleeve, long pant set and I'm absolutely thrilled to have gotten it. Instead of getting the extra, extra small like I normally get, I just got the extra small this year, and that was to accommodate my bust as my extra, extra smalls have gotten a little bit tight there. And these were priced at $49.99 down from $79. I will have everything that I possibly can that I will be showing you guys today linked in the description down below. If there is no link, I will do my best to try to find something similar. So if you are interested in any of these items and they are not saved to your wish list, especially if they are sold out, if I have a link here, make sure to click it to save it to do whatever it is that you need to do to try and look out this last week to see if any of those items come back in stock for you. The second item that I got in store ended up being emergency shoes because the pair of shoes that I'd been wearing all day in the office gave me massive giant blisters that were cutting into my feet. And so because of that, I need emergency shoes. I picked up the Gazelle, the Adidas Gazelle sneakers. I got these, I think they were $60 because I got the kids version. So if you are an adult size six and a half, seven, you can size down in these to the big kids five. And that is what I did. And because of that, I got this beautiful gray color that they didn't have offered in the adult version. And so I thought this was a fantastic deal. I thought that they're good quality. And honestly, even if they only last for half the time of the adult ones, because we know that kids sneakers are generally not going to be made as nice as adult shoes are, I paid half the price. Now, the next thing that I got that you saw me trying on in store is the Treasure and Bond sweater for $49.99, regular $79.50. You'll see me trying it on here with black leggings in the store. I tried it on with denim and I absolutely love this sweater. Yes, it's oversized on me, but in winter, I like to have a mixture of fitted sweaters and oversized sweaters. And I just really, really love this one. It was really cozy, it was fun. Um, it just made me happy. And so because of that for 50 bucks, I thought it was a great sweater to add in. Now I did bring home the jeans that I tried on in store with these. You'll also see me trying on the mother jeans that I try on in store with a lot of the clothing today. Cause I did actually buy those jeans. They were marked down to $189. The issue with the jeans that I've decided I ended up not liking is that they weren't a high rise jean. They were a mid rise jean. And so because of that, wasn't thrilled with that. Um, they also wrinkled a lot in the back in my knees. I noticed whenever I was standing in them when I was trying them on back at home. And so those are actually going back even though I did purchase them. Um, but that's why you see them on the video is because I was trying them on with things. Um, they just didn't work. So that's it for me in store. What did I order in the sale? Now, when the sale went live, almost everything on my wish list, on my must get list, on my maybe get list was all sold out. 
um, which was pretty disappointing. So I was able to get a few things that day. The first thing that I was able to get was I was able to get some basic teas. I ordered both the Caslon and the Halogen versions in because they were priced at $26.99 for the Caslon and $22.99 for the Halogen. And I wanted to see which version I liked better. They're actually all going back because they were too tight across my bus. They were pulling here, they were pulling here. Not a good situation, but I do still have them with me. And I wanted to see if the difference will pick up on camera. So these are the two we've got Caslon here, Halogen here. And basically the difference is the material. This halogen is a very silky material this is a stiffer um more like ribbed knit material i thought that the silky smooth halogen was a lot better um if it had fit if both had fit i would have kept the silky smooth halogen i would not have kept the castle on i didn't think it was really that well made i also ordered in some bras which i will not be showing here none of those fit um, so those are going back. The one thing that I kept from that initial day order is the extra small size in the oatmeal color of the Nordstrom brand cashmere crew neck sweater. I really liked this color. I just thought it was really nice, good, neutral. I can wear it with blues. I can wear it with blacks and beautiful, wonderful sweater. $99 for a cashmere sweater I was super happy with. It's very good quality. This is a Nordstrom sale, Nordstrom sale staple that they have every single year. And so if this is something you've been looking for, if you're looking for a good basic sweater for winter, I highly recommend ordering this one if they have any colors in your size left that you like. So this was the one thing that I did get to keep from the initial day sale. Now, after that initial day, I checked back in a couple of days later, just trying to see if any of my stuff had come back in stock. Okay, I was actually checking every single day to see if my stuff had come back in stock, but I got a notification that one of my items had, and that was the Caslon Long Sleeve Thermal Polo Shirt. I wore that in the Navy, and I was really hoping to love that one. Again, pulling on the sides um so it didn't quite fit me across the chest even in the extra small definitely didn't feel like that i could go up to a small for things like the arms the shoulders um so this one going back my mom did order it and she was able to keep the extra large in it for her um so she was really excited to be able to get that they restocked most everything in the castle on brand that i'd seen that had sold out same thing with a lot of the nordstrom brands um they did big restocks of those about midway through the week and that's very common to see after the sale so again another item that failed but while i was ordering those hit that order super fast as soon as i saw that they were back in stock i looked to see okay are there any other items that i'm missing and in the nordstrom app they will like recommend things to you and they recommended a couple of items that i ordered in the first one is the ccp pleat sleeve crip top now i did really like this um it did mostly fit it pulled a little bit across the chest um but overall i just i wasn't overly in love with it um it didn't feel like it was anything that would elevate my closet i have things that are similar material so ultimately for me this just wasn't going to really do anything for me i didn't think the length was quite right on me either um it was like it either needed to be shorter or longer, but the length that it was hitting me at, I wasn't thrilled with. Um, so this is another one that is going back. Another item of mine that I'd had on my maybe list that got restocked is the gold necklace that I'm also modeling here. Again, another thing that I just, while it worked, I wasn't overly impressed with. The weight of the pendant, I expected it to not move around at all, but in all honesty, the pendant moved around so much on me. Um, I just wasn't overly in love with it. And so again, this pendant, despite the fact that it was a really good deal from Ginny Bird, also went back. But there was a success for me from this day of the sale. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I have been on a massive hunt for a tan wrap coat. I have struggled so much to find one that fit my style, fit my body that I just loved, that my husband also thought looked good on me. And ultimately, Ralph Lauren came in 
clutch and I was able to get this gorgeous double breasted wool trench from Ralph Lauren for $200. It has little leather um, patches on top of the sleeves. It's belted, but it's very structured. So it buttons all the way down, but it has enough movement. I can put bulkier sweaters under it, but also it gives me a polished relaxed look and that's why i was trying to go for that i wasn't getting from the traditional wrapped coats like the max mara or like those that are trying to emulate the max mara coat um it's currently buttoned because where it was all like straight and stuff for the packaging the collar doesn't really want to bend that much down so i've got it buttoned down right now because i'm having to retrain it into the position that it needs to be but i absolutely love this coat it is gorgeous it is long it comes nearly to the floor which is what i wanted i wanted a gorgeous long coat this is it. If you have been looking for a tan wrap coat and you don't want to spend the Max Mara money or that Max Mara sort of like slouchy more relaxed look just doesn't work on you, look at this coat. I had overlooked this coat initially in the sale. I don't know how I missed this coat because I was looking at all sorts of Ralph Lauren coats. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think it is fantastic. Like I said, it's priced at $200. So definitely recommend getting this coat if you are looking for a tan coat for fall, winter. Now, after that, I had to wait a little bit of time for my final item that I'm going to be showing you guys in this haul to come in. And that was the halogen vest. This was like number two on my list and it sold out so quickly. They kept restocking the smoke gray and I think the smoke gray may have even been available when the sale went public, but that's not the color that I wanted. I wanted the black and the black finally came back in stock. I ordered it in. I was so thrilled. I ordered the halogen um, black suit pants as well because I was like, oh, it'll be this great matching set. Like this is going to look so stylish. No. Um, the top did not fit me at all already with the shoulders. I probably need to have a little bit of a tuck down on this if I were to keep it. I'm not keeping it obviously because it pulls um, instead of buttoning the way that it needs to. The other thing with these pants is that the pants stick out so far in the front where they are like this pleated flat front pant. Um, they're also a different cheaper material than the uh, vest is. The vest is a very nice material. If this vest is something, if you are someone who has a flatter chest than me, um, and it doesn't even need to be that flat of a chest, it just needs to be not big. Um, if you have a normal size chest, this vest is fantastic because it is a wonderful material, wonderful quality. If you can get this vest, I think this is a fantastic item to get skip the pants. The pants are worthless. So that is what I think of that. Um, I did actually order the gray in because I was getting so desperate and then literally like six hours later. So, you know, just enough time I couldn't cancel that order. Um, the black came back in stock. So ordered them both in. I wouldn't get the gray. Um, the gray doesn't look as nice as the black does because where the black has the black buttons and the gray has the black buttons, um the black looks a lot classier there were still some items that didn't come back in stock there were some items that did that i ultimately decided not to get um the lambskin leather jacket that was the chocolate brown leather jacket ultimately i decided because of an unboxing that you'll see coming up here in a couple of weeks not to get that jacket um, I didn't need to spend $600 on a leather jacket as gorgeous as it was. It has popped back up in my size, I think like two or three times I've seen it come back in stock. They've gotten like one of it. Um, ultimately, I decided that I needed to do the responsible thing and let that one go, even though I really did love it. Um, so that was just sort of a... I had to make a decision because I got something else that I was just so madly in love with that I couldn't um, leave without from a different store. So very excited to share that unboxing with you guys coming up. Now, if you remember, there was a green sweater by Nick and Zoe that I wanted so, so badly. I thought this thing was not going to come back in stock in the green, um, and it did. It finally came back in stock in the green. It is on its way to me, but it won't be here for like another week to two weeks potentially. Um, and 
the sale will be over by then. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video up and share it with you guys. Um, but that is on the way. So hopefully that's going to fit. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because that was the number one item that I wanted from the sale. I also did order in a pair of the Nordstrom slacks. Um, I had initially planned to order those, but those were sold out. Those came back in stock in my size and I saw those yesterday. So when I was ordering the sweater, I went ahead and I ordered the pants as well. Not to go together, but just because they were things that I wanted to try. So if you have given up hope, you stop checking the app, you stop checking your wish list to see if things came back in stock, keep checking that wish list. Things are coming back in stock. Things that sold out at the very beginning are coming back in stock. The only two items that I haven't been able to get at this point are the coach bag that I loved in the cognac color and the color of the barefoot dream socks that I wanted. They've had the barefoot dream socks in. Um, I just want a very specific color and that has not come back in stock. So overall for me, I say the sale went really well this year. I was able to keep a pair of pajamas. I was able to keep a, two sweaters and a coat. And then I have a third sweater that fingers crossed I'll get to keep. And I got a pair of Adidas Gazelles. So I was thrilled with that. Um, for me, I think that, that was a really great amount of stuff to have end up working. Because um, I am hard to fit. So many items that didn't fit. So many items that didn't fit. But basically everything that I wanted, I was able to get in. Which makes me really, really happy. Um, whether it be that they were restocking or be it that I was able to get them initially. So that made me really happy as well. The biggest tip that I can give you if you are still waiting on items to potentially come back in stock, click on the item that you have saved to your wish list. If it's in another size and it is financially comfortable for you to do this, whether that be from a moral standpoint or whether that be from a just financial, you need to know where all your money is type of situation. Um, if it's financially comfortable for you, order in the size that you know is not gonna fit so that after the sale, when these things inevitably restock in a couple more weeks, um, you can just do an exchange with Nordstrom and they will facilitate that exchange. You'll have the sale price and you will then have the item that you wanted. Um, I had actually been about ready to order in the navy version of the green sweater that is coming and fortunately the green came back in stock so I was able to order it no problem and I was thrilled with that. So for me the sale was a big success this year. I would love to know down in the comments below if there's anything that you are still waiting for hoping to get and if you were able to have any successes of your own this year. So thank you guys for watching the Nordstrom Con. Content. I have got content coming up on, um, I've got two different VIP uh, collection launch events that I will have footage from. Um, I've got, of course, unboxings related to those. I have New York footage that is going to be coming up for the New York trip here um, closer towards the middle end of the month is when I'll have that vlog up. I have had a lot of aftercare services with luxury brands done in the past year. I've got a video coming out talking about my experiences with the different brands and what I think you should be aware of related to aftercare services. So if any of those videos interest you, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my content. And with that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye.